Everyone's a star. Every day's the move. Everywhere you are is for you. And don't you know that everyone's a star? Everyone's a star. Every day is the move. Every day is the move. Everywhere you are. Everywhere you are for you. For you. Everyone's a star. Everyone's a star. Every day is the move. Every day is the move. Everywhere you are. Everywhere. Everywhere. Everywhere's for you. Yeah, good so far. In LA, big day. A big promotion day for uh, Planet of the Apps later with a little bit of a party and you're gonna get some real footage there, huh? Did you get clearance to be there? That'll be interesting. Anyway, uh, grinding. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Grinding, grinding, grinding. Can you tell me what I feel? Can you tell me cause I feel high? Why is there, why is there so little energy around creating new IP? Is it cause the studios don't have appetite to take the risk? <clears throat> the economics are so much more fun with so guaranteed. Have IP that they need to exploit, so that's a good spot for them to work. And, um, but everybody's just rebooting, right? It's just good. R- it's just good ROI, right? Yeah, and so for them, it's a good business to just. Cause I don't even know where I'm going anymore from the ground. From the ground. Perfection is poison. It's just another fucking excuse for not doing it. So many of you are using it as a highbrow excuse. Everybody's always trying to tell people why they can't or why they aren't. Like excuses, man, it's fucking poison. I fucking hate excuses. Prefer people that use like bullshit ones like, uh, I grew up in a bad neighborhood. The perfection one really fucking pisses me off because people think they're being clever and hiding it. I'm a perfectionist, I do it right. You don't do it right, dick. You're not doing it at all. That's the problem. You're doing it right, theoretically, so often, you never put anything out. You know what's subjective? Everything. Everything is subjective. Your song, your video, your social media post, your business idea, all subjective. You know what's not subjective? Putting it out on time. Putting it out. You know what's not subjective? 12.05 Eastern PM. Tyler, that's not subjective. You know what's not subjective? When you fucking grind on your flight out here and get my inbox from 300 things I have to do to 84. Not subjective. What was subjective was should have been 86 or should have been 82. That's where you had to make a call. People are crippled to not make calls. So they don't end up doing anything. And then all you fuckers who use perfection as a disguise, you think you're smarter than everybody. You may be tricking the losing players, but the winning players see right through you. I'm mad about this perfection thing. I see it at VaynerMedia, I see it with my business partners, I see it with my start. No, no, it's gotta be perfect. I'm so close to having it perfect. No, you're not. You just don't wanna get it done. I don't like highbrow excuses. I like lowbrow excuses. I like people, I like that dude the other day at Washington Park was like, I'm just watching Netflix, bro. That's honest. Somebody who's like, oh, you know, I need to be inspired to get it exactly right, because if I get it right, it will win. Just that stuff is like, or you don't get it. Like, like I'm an artist. This is, this, this is gonna be real right soon. Like, I just need to chip. Fuck that shit. How you doing, man? Man, good. How about yourself? Real good. Big shout to you, real quick, because that day you posted my song, man. I got so many. I got so many people scoop my song off iTunes. So shout to you for that, man. You stay on a plane, bro. Every time I see you, on I, a plane. I live. I live at the airport. So what's been going on, man? How's How's it going? Honestly, I've just been just been grinding, like you know, really smashing it. Just drop after drop after drop. And each time I drop something, I mean, I can see the numbers go up. So I, you know, the consistency, it kind of feeds. How often? Life. Once a week? Once every two weeks? Last week I dropped three songs. Uh, the Last week, week. Before, yeah, last week I dropped three songs. The week before that I dropped two songs, and it's usually one a week. But I just, I'm just really trying to pump them. Like I'm trying to make sure that. Is your mind, here. is your mind in the place where I'm at, which is it's just a matter of time. It's literally just 100%. once. One hundred percent. Like the reason you want to drop two or three is it gives you more chance for have that 
song exactly, that changes everything. Exactly. That, right. it's, it's a numbers game. Yo, it really is. It really is. I believe a that, game. man. I genuinely believe it too. I listened to the audio uh, audio book of um, the most recent one. What was that? Ask, ask Gary V. Yes, dude. Yo, I, and uh, this isn't to take any shots because it's a bunch of amazing factual information. The biggest thing I took out of that book is pinpointing why I have been so confident and successful and it's because of how my mom raised me. And 100%. I was never able to put my finger on that until <laughs> I saw you say it in that book. I was just like, you know? That makes sense. And literally, sense. thanks to my mom, I feel like I could do anything. I feel like the she best. Pumped, pumped me full of this confidence and I never pinpointed it. Did you I, call her and say thanks? Yes, I really <laughs> did. I, I, she's my reason for everything though. So like, what was that? Cause I don't even know where I'm going anymore from the ground. Again. Anyway, uh, just business call, business call. Got an interesting meeting with a holding company conglomerate that owns brands that could be for Vayner Media, could be for my future ambitions. Take a lot of meetings that are not as black and white. Way too many people only take meetings where like where they get something out of it right away. And to me, I like taking meetings that could bring value three, four, five, six, seven years from now. Um, and if they do bring value right away, then Mazel Tov. Um, driving my social. Getting serious about Snapchat again. See a little opening there. Um, so I don't even know where I'm going anymore from the ground. From the ground. Cause I don't even know where I'm going anymore from the ground. We gotta catch up and talk about it. Yo. Hey man, great to see you. Good. How are you? Good, great. I like the haircut, man. Yes. It's yeah, stylish. I like it. I like it. How you guys feeling? We are graduating next week. Congratulations, guys. That's a big deal. Yeah. We should definitely catch up. That would feel, be awesome. feel free to reach out. I'd love to hear from you. And we'll try not to hog you. No, it's, I'm, I'm here for you guys forever. Awesome. Do your thing. Awesome. Everyone's a star. Every day is the move. Everywhere you are, it's for you. So our commercial just aired. My phone's blowing up, so that's cool. And um, let's see what uh, let's see what the buzz is. Jason, I will never be big time, baby. I'll always be a boy from Belarus. Appreciate the love. I could swear I just heard your voice in the NBA game. <laughs> You know, it's funny, this is a really interesting scene because the event's going on inside, everybody's drinking a vodka martini, and I'm on Twitter engaging with everybody who just saw the commercial during the NBA Finals. I'm just, it's just so fucking, this right here is the difference moment. I'm not in it for the glitz and the glamour, I'm in it for the fucking, the blood and the dirt. Everybody can go party it up. I'm fucking here working. Okay. Still just a commercial, not that much chatter. Yep. 
You know? People don't get it, man. Well, let's not put this part. <laughs> It's me. It's Who's Gary that? B. What? I've heard of this guy. I'm going to have this I'll teach you, Jess. That's what I'm here for. I love my By the way, I got terrible. Let's problem. put the hands up together. All right, photos. I'm They're so sunny. Penis, get out of the photo. I didn't know. Jesus <laughs> Alright. Is this a Snapchat? I kind of want to be in that picture. I'm the greatest. Jeff, why are you the greatest? Because I was born that way. Born that way. <laughs>